number four here on Fox Trot Labs. In the upper right, in the green. Gene Air Green Wings Cure. Got to, you know, stay confident here. And in the bottom left, in the red, in the lead. Yeah. SK Telecom T1 Innovation. We talked about nerves a lot, and we talked about uh, Cure being a potential Royal Rotor. This is the furthest he's been before, you know. So it's uh, really stressful to play against a veteran like this. Who's got, you know, the support of a big team back him. He just joined a new team. Innovation who's bounced through teams since he was on STX. Uh, back when we saw some of those results earlier from Pro League that were on the screen. This guy's been through so many teams with STX, then sold and Acer, and now finally into SKT. He's just so good that no matter what, someone wants oh him God. on their team. From Lithuania, thank you for coming down. I like that handwriting actually. It's pretty good. The girl definitely wrote that. That's girl handwriting for, for sure. sure. Yeah, for sure. Much better than mine. I mean, mine is, my handwriting is bad. I wonder if yours is, is uh, better than Brendan's, because I think he's the worst I've seen so far. <laughs> really? <laughs> now, we have, um, oh, hold on. Shout out to the going from the U.S. Mom, I am Mom, on are you the watching? Internet. You stop watching those computer games. <laughs> Mom. Okay. Gas first again for innovation. Yep, gas first for innovation. We've got a pretty international crowd down here. Yeah, we do. A lot of fans from all over the place. That's That always makes me happy. StarCraft is universal. I feel like we're supposed to be unlocking something. Like every time we see somebody in the audience from a different country. Yeah. There's like, it's, a, like, it's, like it's one of these video games where you get to like, <laughs> you get to see how much of the percent of it you've completed. Like exactly. if you get one person from each country. To the studio eventually. Like we unlock unlocked some kind of special. <laughs> we unlock a new background for the menu screen. Of <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Have like a decal on your Marines as a Swedish flag after five. We unlock special suit. GSL artwork. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, we have these two guys, I believe, in cross spots. Yes. Just way, way, way far away from each other here. Yeah. So, uh, and, um, a much Let's faster see. factory for, for innovation. He's going Hellions here. Yep. And also gets a Reaper before his Starport, so not the fastest possible Starport you can get with a gas first. And he goes double gas, so he's going to have a ton of extra gas. I feel like he's just going to go Raven again. I don't think he's going to go Banshee because he's been playing that safe style every game well, so far. Well, it seems like with a lot of the Starport builds that Terrans are using, it the, when you start that Starport, that's just the beginning. There's a lot of different ways you can take it depending on what you find. I mean, the starport build off one base is pretty safe, actually, in a TBT because uh, if you feel like you're going to be threatened, you can get a Viking. Ouch. If you feel like your opponent's being greedy, you can get a Banshee. Yeah. Uh, for several other you reasons. You can get a dropship. You, you, you absolutely can get a dropship. That's another way that you can uh, uh, try to punish your opponent. You, you have the option down the road for a Raven. Yeah. And a Raven is... One of these all-purpose units, you can use that to, you know, do a turret harass later for the point defense drone during an attack, for dropping turrets in the middle of an attack, for using it for detection against the Banshee. I mean, there's so much it can do. Well, Innovation really wants to get a scout off here. Those that supply the blue placement, so he can't actually get a Reaper in there. Uh, this map is really tough to Reaper scout on um, because of that, and you know, there's only two places to jump up. Basically, he blocked them, so he loses the Reaper. And now Innovation makes the Viking, and I think he's going to make a Raven. Yeah, there it is, because this is how Innovation has been playing. If he's not 100% sure what's going on, he's just going to play it safe. Yep. That's what he's done every single game so far, and he's just continuing to do that, uh, which shows some confidence, basically saying, I'm the better player here, I'm going to play safe, and I should be able to win in the late game, if it comes to that, you know, or the mid game, get a, get a lead there. Going to put his CC on the low ground. And we do have a drop from here, swinging around here, full Marine drop, seven. Now, note there is a Viking out for Innovation. Uh, and I believe that Viking is actually flying back towards the main. Yeah, he. Has the three, three Hellions, Hellions are actually over there, though. Yeah, right there. Yeah, those are, you know, would have been pretty nice to have on the defense here. Let's see if he can actually handle this with uh, the units he has right now. It's a lot of firepower here. He's going to lose that first Marine right away. And he's got to fight with a Raven here. He's losing several SVs already. That wow. turret not going to last very long here. And he's yeah. in trouble, man. Those Hellions are needed. Get yeah, back there's here. There's just nothing here to help. The Hellions are coming up now. 
Uh, but he actually targeted down that first Hellion. And look at the spreading here. Jeez, man. Really nicely done. Really, really nicely done. And look at the worker count uh, as this wraps up. It's 29 to 18. That was pretty costly. Was in, within the first 10 minutes of the game. That really hurts, you know, just keeping those Hellions on the map for map vision, map control. Can backfire. It's yeah. Like this hits you. Well, that was the play that Cure needed um, if he wants to try to uh, start evening out this series. Looks like Innovation may be gearing up to do a similar Banshee type play. Oh, no, actually moves it out this time. There's a Widow Mine on the map. Yeah, I don't think the Banshee's going to go over that Widow Mine. I don't think so either. But, you know, crazier things have happened. He's even committing to Cloak here. I think he realizes how far behind he is. Yeah, well, this is exactly what he should be doing. Um, he needs to do some damage to his opponent, and that damage has to be uh, done tactically. He can't just barge in there. Yeah. Like like, a, like with a push, for instance, that he did in game number two, because obviously Kira's just going to have more, uh, and it wouldn't work. So the Banshee's probably the best route. Then again, if Kira has good defense and pulls SCVs correctly, I don't know if this is going to do any damage. And then he's just got this Banshee with Cloak. It's not terrible, but you can't get that. It's expensive. Yeah, if you can't get it to pay for itself, um, you're in trouble. Yeah, and he's got a second Banshee now even. Um, he's going to split these up. There is a Raven. Raven can't be in two places at once, though. So let's see, he scans, and he sees that Cloak, actually. That's a great scan there. And it also sees the factories being added. That basically tells him literally everything that's happening. So now he's just going to get his Raven set up, getting turrets here. Okay, that turret's not done. Let's see how many kills he can get in here. He needs to get a lot to make up for what happened earlier. Whoa, maybe being a little bit too cautious there. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Bear safe and sorry, I guess. Did I he cancel Cloak? I think he did. I'm not sure, though. Did he cancel Cloak? It, I didn't see it finish on the bottom right where we have that little upgrade screen that shows. God, he was, he was, if, if he did, I didn't see that, but if he did, that would, uh, no, he didn't. No, he has, no, he has cloak. Okay. okay, I was gonna say if he did, that'd be really weird. I just thought maybe that was one reason why he flew it away because he definitely could have stayed a little bit longer. Well, exactly. Yeah, we saw the upgrade so far along. I thought, well, for sure he's gonna do something with this. But I guess he wants to keep the Banshee safe for now. It's 47 SCVs to 36 SCVs with Cure still in a very substantial lead with a third command center being yeah. landed. So economy-wise, there's no, there's no uh, guessing who's ahead here. Although. Uh, uh, Innovation is doing a good job of uh, you know, massing up units. He's actually taking a third base of his own uh, along with Cure, so he's going to be able to... Oh, no, excuse me, is he not? That's a factory, I oh, think. Oh, God, barracks, that's a floating rather. barracks, excuse me. Derp. Um, so in, in that case, then, yeah, Cure is in a, in, in a lead in every possible way. He can make more SCVs than Innovation can. He's got yep. triple meals. Yep. He's got better saturation. Uh, Innovation needs to make a push or, or something happen at that third base pretty soon here, or he's going to find himself uh, really out of luck. The Hellions well, are, you know, they've, they're gonna have blue, blue flame in a second, but uh, he's gotta, he's gotta do something. Yeah, I mean, from here, this should be pretty easy for Cure. I think he can simply push out when he sees that Innovation is gonna take a third base, and he should just have more and punish it. I mean, the amount of damage that Cure did to Innovation early on is actually pretty surprising. Yeah. Um, with high level play. Um, which you'd get from these two. Normally, uh, they would be prepared for something like that, but he got, he killed so many workers. And yeah, he just didn't have his Hellions at home. Cure may be coming in here for a soft contain. I don't know if he's going to push in all the way. It's tough. But you see Innovation's mecking, so he's going to be staying uh, on this for a while. Looks like he wants to use these Banshees to defend with uh, all the Vikings he's made here. He's going to try to get control of the air and start using the Banshees to pick off the Siege tanks. If he can yeah. kill the Viking, or rather, if he can kill the Raven of Cure, then he can use Cloak and do a lot with that. He's just going to go ahead and straight up hard engage us. Does decide to turn around, smartly okay. so. Uh, he's continuing to move forward. Perhaps Secret he's... Missile. Oh my god. Fizzles okay, out. got out of range there. Innovation's backed up. It's Firmly a holding this. Like you said, but oh, there goes the Raven. You that means that? his Banshees can, uh, can do some cloak damage here. Yeah, this is a frustrating moment here. And is he just going to pick up and leave? Yep, that's exactly what he's going to do here. The auto turret's buying a little bit of time. Is he going to hold this position on the high ground? No, he keeps running back. Yeah, he knows that this is scary with no detection. He might not have any scans. He just wants to fall back to safety. There's a scan, and definitely dodged there by Innovation. Love that siege up on the high ground right on this half pipe, you know, sort of area over here. 
And uh, he could start to kind of siege up a little bit more with his Banshees if he can get a little bit closer. It's so difficult to actually advance right now. He doesn't have a well, third CC still. Now, even though there's a supply deficit right now for innovation, uh, this is a mech army. They do a lot more damage. Uh, really, Cure has to get him out of position. He's tucked pretty neatly away on this low ground area. This cloak is such a big problem, too, because he doesn't have any answer for that right now. He's got to like fall back to his turrets or get another Raven out here. And already, Innovation is sieged up. Cure has a better concave, though. Okay, there's still a lot of siege tanks down here on the low ground. Yeah. Uh, but pretty much not much else. PDD's oh helping out a yeah, lot here. Point defense drone so good there. Innovation just showing he knows how to fight even when he's down, man. He knows how to take this army and make it win. The, the moment that point defense drone was put down, you had to turn around. That's it. You just back up again. And Innovation's now going to push forward again here. He's he needs to do some damage here and do it quickly, though. He has to take this third base out because Innovation is still on just two bases. Those turrets are so important because he he has air control, which means he has better vision for his siege tanks, and then the Banshees could start picking these siege tanks off from a distance. They're cloaked. He can't run in with his Marines. He's got no Vikings. He has no answer, but these Banshees are starting to push forward here little by little. What a, a sick play here by Innovation. I really like his decision making to mass up those Vikings because he knows vision is the most important thing right now and also air control for his Banshees. He's actually uh, starting he's gonna to make get this, this tank. Yeah, he's I gonna think get so. Oh, it's just barely. It's still alive. He's he's edging forward though. He's got reinforcements coming up. God, he's playing I think so well. Cure just goofed this man. <laughs> it's not over I, yet. I mean, he's still got a good economy, but he's got to hold this base yeah, or it's look, not going to matter. Some of his units aren't even on hold position, so they're taking a lot of damage. I, I'm curious to see what the uh, energy is on the medevacs right now for Cure. How many kills does Banshee have? Seven kills? I think they're all siege tank kills. He's just so outclassing him when it comes to positioning and taking engagements in TBT here. He's running a school. All right, yeah, Cure's go coming for out it. now. Is he going to land the Vikings or anything? He well, might he's taking want all to. the medevacs. This is okay. a lot of bio. GG. GG. Innovation taps out. Nice save there by Kira. That was a close call, though, yeah. Tasis. Yeah, for real. Nicely done there by Kira. Uh, it came down to that drop in the early part of the game. He killed enough SCVs. Innovation went for mech. We don't know if he would have gone for mech no matter what, but we do know that with that mech play, the only way he could win if his third base wasn't uh, somewhat close to what uh, Kira got. He had to win with a push like that. The push was pretty scary, but in the end, it was just not enough. Yeah. He managed to get in there. I don't know uh, how much landing the Vikings would have helped right before that attack because they could have at least tanked some more damage until the fire, uh, the Hellbats, excuse me, could have gotten to the front of that. Either way, though, we're here at two and two. It's anybody's game. It's it's really looking like. These two have completely different styles of looking at this matchup, which makes it more exciting for a mirror matchup to me. Yeah. And uh, also, Innovation going with Mech a lot today. Yeah. He's really liking that. Uh, Cure much preferring to go for that, you know, Marine tank type of style. And Cure is, is opting to play a little bit more economic oriented. He's always getting his third command center up a little bit faster, whereas Innovation is more army focused. He's trying to get his army built up and try to control the map with it, uh, which yeah. is pretty unique because it's a mech army, which is hard to kind of push out and control the map with. Normally you see players turtle yeah. a third with Usually mech. you see pushes with mech when they're maxed out, yeah. but um, I mean, he's he's pretty good with these, uh, these mech timing builds. We're going to go to a short break. When we come back, we'll go to game number five here in our second semifinals of the GSL Code S.